Perplexity is like a hybrid of ChatGPT and Google. It's an AI-powered search engine. Some people get frustrated with it because they're just trying to use it as a ChatGPT replacement, when actually it's got quite a different use case. Let's go through how to master it step by step. So one thing Perplexity is great at is really quick, high-speed, but accurate research. A lot of the time, I use ChatGPT, I use Claude, and when it's researching, it kind of hallucinates facts or some of the quotations and citations it gives are just from dead web pages that I can't cite. Perplexity is way better in this respect. And it was the first thing I started using it for was actually to get punchy facts and facts and stats for my articles. You can just use this in its normal mode. You can start off on just the first section here, but you'll see super quickly it'll go off and do a ton of research and read sources and bring all that information back to you with citations. So all these stats, which are often just made up and I find hallucinating, in other LLMs. Perplexity is really great at doing it. We've got a list of facts and stats that if we're writing content or something or looking for a specific bit of data, we can find it and we can get the citation of where it is. And one of the beauties of this is they're always up to date and live resources rather than old or outdated or dead web pages like I find elsewhere. The next step of Perplexity is you can use something called site operators. So you could use something like site colon in your search box at the bottom here and then add in a website that you want to search specifically, say Healthline and even include a, a keyword or a key subject such as uh, core strength, as that's what we started our searches with. And then you can send Perplexity off in any of its modes really to go and use that source as its source of information, basically. You can see the sources here that it's picked from and actually selected for its answers, all from Healthline Media. So all the information that is presented back to us is from Healthline, which is really cool if you want to pick information or find information from a particular source, particularly good if you just wanted to search, I don't know, something like Money Saving Expert website for just his information on particular subjects. You could use those site operators and there's various different ones you could use. I'll put them in the comments below that you can start using in Perplexity just to narrow down what and how you're searching around the web, which is pretty cool. You'll also see it also builds out tables and stuff from, from your research and everything is cited. Plus you get this cool related section at the bottom where you can go further into different research subjects just by hitting this plus button it's going to go and do more research on that subject which is a nice little extra touch you might actually find if you're doing seo and you're looking to like improve your content or wanting to rank or be cited in these llm models this sort of related area is a great place to find content ideas for your website on your youtube and your social media so once you've understood this basic search functionality that you can use in perplexity as well as like using it as a general llm you can actually take things up and notch and you can go into deep research mode this is going to go far more in depth for your research if you're really wanting to get information dialed on a particular topic so we've got a deep research prompt here we could use you are research assistant specializing in fitness and personal training your task is to gather in-depth information focused on enhanced core strength for personal training course please provide relevant case studies articles data on the following areas and then we've got the areas we want it to research and then it's going to go off and create a report it's not just going to spit out some information it's actually going to create a nice report for us that we can use in our research and you see here it took a few minutes to complete but it's gone through 148 different sources to find and select its information it's even gone through image searches as well and then produced its research based on all of this you can see some of the places it's pulled from harvard um, being one notable name in there you can see this in-depth report that it's still generating, but you can see how much depth it goes into of finding the benefits of core strength training from all different sources. It's even pulled out some popular exercises that we can start working on. But one of the cool things as well is it's really easy to digest and read and get all your information compared to some other deep research models, which might seem more in depth, but you just get a big slab of writing that you go through. And then you probably take that and ask the LLM to like break it all down for you. And one cool thing as well you can do next is create a space. As it says here, it's actually guiding us to this. We could say create space because it's noticed we've actually do some research. So we could say core strength and create this project space where we can keep all of our threads in our research nicely contained. If you've got one client or one work project or study project you're working on, you can keep it all in one place. You can even add your own knowledge files in here. You can add links to resources around the web. So I could go and put my YouTube links in there if I was talking about SEO stuff, which is what I do, or you can add custom instructions. Now, the next step is where things go up a level. 
and really take us into actually creating real world effects. And this is the labs feature. This is where the AI agents get involved and help us to actually build projects. They can even code web apps, create spreadsheets, do research, create whole brands and business plans. I wanna create a course for my personal training business. This is the example we're using. I'm not a personal trainer, I'm an SEO specialist. Can you create a full plan to help me launch my course, including market research into customer pain points, desires, brand, marketing messages, et cetera, that will be the most profitable. So I wanted to go research, do the deep research, come back, analyze that information, and then start creating an angle for my brand and course that's gonna be most profitable based on this market research. Now, while we're waiting for that to finish, because it's gonna take a little while, I'll show you around a couple of other features here. If you click this little button here, you can choose your different model of different LLMs you want to use, whether that's Claude, Perplexities, Sonar, GPT, Grok, all sorts of things in there. I already said you can choose different search areas. You can choose web, academic. You can even just search social forums like Reddit or even SEC filings there's voice mode dictation everything you need in here to kind of do your research however you prefer and even get it to do those standard llm things like write emails or whatever you want to use it for as i said there's a spaces tab on the left here where you can put all your projects together and give it custom instructions there's also this discover section which is cool because it gives you an ai curated summary of the news which you can tailor to the sort of things you want so this is kind of like a cool home space for your internet browsing and research now. And it's one of the reasons they're trying to take on Google in this information retrieval battle we've got going on between AI models at the moment. Okay, you can see now it has finished its big project and we've got all sorts of stuff in here that we've got um, market research, the opportunity, the industry overview, the market size, all of our customer pain points, and even found us a market gap of who we should be targeting and why it's a profitable niche before breaking down, you know, the pricing strategy and all this sort of stuff is this goes on and on for our business plan. We started building out even our own custom dashboard for our users to start using their habit tracking, their sleep, all this sort of stuff. So it can actually start prototyping and building apps and assets for you in there, building tables out, all that sort of thing that we found building tables out, all sorts of things and analysis it can do based off the research that you want based not just off the research, but actually the goals you're trying to achieve. And if you want a deep dive into all of Perplexity's most powerful features, then check out this video here where I go into everything.